Hi guys, Squirrel here. Now today I'm going to show you how to create a new profile in Euro Truck Sim 2 or American Truck Simulator and cheat the XP or the money in that new profile. Now you may be asking yourself, why do I want to do that? Why do I want to create another profile and cheat XP and money on it? Well, maybe you want another profile so that you can try the multiplayer. Maybe you want to have another profile so that you can try out some mods and keep your main profile quite safe from that. Maybe you've got a family member that wants to drive and you don't really want them driving on your main profile and they don't want to start from scratch. So you'd rather give them their own profile, give them some money and some XP and off they go and join themselves. Or maybe you want to try some mods, some map mods that are standalone maps and therefore require you to have a new profile. Whatever the reason, what I'm going to show you uh, is not a new thing. It's been kicking around for a few years now, this particular technique. But it seems the majority of players don't really know how to do this safely. They end up looking on YouTube and websites and it asks them to download things like Cheat Engine or other executables and then start hex editing their profiles. What I'm going to show you is quite straightforward. It simply uses mods to hook into the game to give you an initial boost in XP and money. And when you're done, you simply disable the mods and enjoy your new profile. Now I've created these mods myself and I've created two sets, one to boost your XP and one to boost your money. You can use either or both of the mods. You can choose the mods based on which game you're playing, either American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim, and you can choose how much of an XP or money boost you want to get. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. So, first thing you need to do is to go into the video description and download the mod pack. There's a link to my Dropbox where you can download this zip file. You'll need to have WinRAR or WinZip or some other way of unpacking this archive. But if you look inside the archive, you'll see that it contains a README and a bunch of mods. You don't need all these mods, you just pick the ones that you want. The first set here, entitled ATS, they're for American Truck Sim. And the second set for ETS2. Now I've created these on version 1.3 or 1.30. Uh, this may work on earlier or later versions. Probably will, but I can't guarantee it. Now you've got three sets here. You've got the uh, 1 million, 2 million, and 10 million. This is how much money you want. And then you've got level 10, level 20, and level 30. So what you need to do is decide how much money you want and what level you want to be boosted to. So for argument's sake, let's say I'm going to do Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to go for 5 million euros, and I'm going to go for level 20. So what I need to do is I need to bring in my Explorer which shows me the Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod folder. Uh, this is your PC, whatever your PC folder is, C drive usually, and then documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and then you have a mod folder. If you want to do this for American Truck Sim, just go to documents, American Truck Simulator, and your mod folder. So you go inside the mod folder. I've got a whole lot of mods here. Don't worry about that. Over here, we now need to pick the mods we want. So we're going to have ETS 2, 5 million euros, level 20. So we'll highlight those two and we'll copy them into the mod folder. Now we need to jump back into the game and I'll show you how to carry on to create your new profile. So here we are back in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and we're on the profile page. And what we need to do is click on new profile here. Now, there's something up here which most people generally don't notice. We'll come to that in a second. So what you wanna do is you wanna choose the name whatever your profile is going to be called. Let's just call it cheat, or we could call it uh, test profile, something like that. Pick your favorite picture, pick your truck design, company logo, etc. Give your company a name, cheat ink, uh, language. And then if you're using a map, a map mod where you have to have, it's a standalone map, this is where you would choose it right here. But you can only do that after you've chosen your mod. So what you need to do is click on the mod manager and at this point, you're going to see all the mods that you have in your mod folder. And right at the top here, you can see I've got the two that I recently dropped in. So let's bring those two in. That's the level 20 cheat and the 5 million euro cheats. Just double click them or click on it and then click the arrow here. Now, if you, was, if you had a standalone map, at this point, you would also bring in your standalone map. You then click confirm. And then back here, if it's a standalone map, you choose the play module. If you're not doing a standalone map thing, don't worry at all about that. So now we just click create. The music goes very, very loud. We skip the wizard. I'll show you how to bring your settings over in a second and just let it run through. 
Now on the way, it's going to ask you which city you want to start in. Uh, pick a city. If you don't really care which city, then I would recommend Duisburg because it's very close to Düsseldorf and Düsseldorf, and your initial journey will be very, very short. Then you want to say uh, skip tutorial. So when it says, do you want to walk through tutorial? Just say no. At some point, it will then get to this bit. Click on enter and then just press escape to get rid of all that and then let it carry on loading. And you should find yourself back in your truck. There we go. Right, so now we're in our truck. Now you've got two options here. You can either drive this thing to the destination or you can teleport. If you don't know how to teleport, then I will leave the link in the video description to my teleportation video, the console guide. It'll tell you how to do that. But either way, I'll just show you how to drive it. So because we skipped the input wizard, we can just use the keyboard. We're gonna use the WASD keys and we're just gonna drive the truck around to the destination point which because i started in duisburg it is a very short run indeed only 36k so we'll be there in a second okay here we are oh my god here we are the destination not paying attention and uh now what we do here is critically important now we'll point out if you look at our money i've already got five million euros so if you're only doing the money part of this you're only using the money mod you're not interested in the xp that's it you're done it will create your initial save with the money from the mod that you chose. If you're doing your XP, this is how you do your XP. So you drive to the destination, press enter. Now it's critically important that you do not select skip, right? If you select skip, you'll get zero XP boost. You need to select one of these two things. So the easiest thing to do is click on let's play it safe and we'll get the XP boost. So if we look where we need to go, we just need to park the trailer. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna give us an XP boost for parking that is going to take us up to the level we chose. I think we chose level 20. So we should get XP sufficient enough to take us all the way to level 20. So line your trailer up like that. Press the T key and then watch the XP come raining in. Here we go. So we'll let it run and you'll see bonus for parking trailer 44,000, which should take us all the way to level 20. There we go, level 20 master, done. Click continue. There you go, this is your headquarters. However, you should be able to upgrade that now because you've got a bit of money. So click enter, escape, and that's it. You've now got a couple of emails, just ignore them. But here's the important thing. You now have at the top here, level 20, and at the bottom, five million. So you could have gone for level 10, level 20, level 30, and here you could have gone one, five, or 10 million. Works exactly the same in American Truck Sim. Just do the drive, drop the tra trailer off, and don't skip it. Now, one thing you probably want to do, having boosted your XP, is choose your skill points. So for level 20, you know, we can spread 20 points over here. Pick them however you want, and then click apply. And that's it. Now you can enjoy your profile. Now, having created your new profile, you're then faced with the problem that all of your options that you've got in set in here, all your preferences, and indeed your controller mappings, all your button layouts, everything, it's all starting from scratch. Now, maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want to copy over from a previous profile. That would be nice. I'll show you how to do that. So click on your profiles button. Go back to your main profile list. And what you want to do is you want to pick the profile that you want to copy from. So let's say, well, this one here, this is my main profile. So I'm going to click on that and click continue. Now, once you get back to the main screen in the profile that you want to copy from, you then click on the profiles again. And this time you go back to the new profile. Now, the reason you're doing this is because you'll see in a second on the file system, it's actually changing the timestamp. So this profile has now just had its timestamp refreshed and we're going to use that in a second. So now we go back up to our test profile, click continue game on this one. And there we are, that will have refreshed the timestamp on the one that we want to copy to. So now we can determine which of the profiles on the disk is the one that we want to copy from and the one that we want to copy to. Incidentally, while you're here, you probably want to go back to your profiles and just disable the mods because you don't need them anymore. So in here, in your, in your brand new profile, just go in and get rid of those two. You don't need them anymore. So the final step now is to copy over your controls and settings and so on from your Profile source to your profile destination wall. When you go to your documents, Eurotruck Simulator 2 profiles folder, 
you will see one folder for every profile that you have. Now, you may just have two, your original one and the one that you just made. How do you know which one is which? Where do you want to copy from? Where do you want to copy to? Well, remember how we went into our main profile, then switched over to our new profile? What that did was it changed the timestamps on these folders. So if we now sort by the modified date, the one that is at the top will actually be the new profile. It's the last one that we went into. We know this because the timestamp, although it's showing 1521 for both of them, it's still being sorted in terms of seconds as well. I can double check this. If I right click and do properties, you can see that this folder was created today at 1504, whereas this folder was created on the 8th of January, 1924. So I know this is my old one, my older profile. I know this is my new one. So what we want to do is we want to go into our new profile and I suggest that you just keep a backup of this thing. So just create a folder, call it backup, whatever you want to call it like that. Just take every file out of here, hold down the control key to copy and copy it into backup. That means you've got a backup just in case you get this wrong. Now, if we go back out to profiles, double check that you've got this thing sorted by date modified with the arrow pointing down. That means this is the most recent folder. Go into the one that you want to copy from, which is the next folder down. And you need to select uh, most of the files out of here, except you don't want anything that, that's titled profile. That's your actual profile data. But the other stuff, gearbox, config and controls, all these files here, you can grab all of those. So select all of those, right click and do copy, and then go back up to your profiles, go into your destination folder, which is this one, right click, paste, and then say replace files and destination. Now what that's going to do, it's going to copy over your config, your control mapping, all that kind of stuff from your old profile to your new profile. That means when you go back inside the game, everything will feel just like it was. Everything that you're used to having, all your button mappings and all your settings. Right, so here we are back in the game, back on the profile selection screen. And uh, all we need to do now is click continue on our new profile. And it will say load and it will complain about the cheat mods not being there. Just click continue, it's fine. That will then load into here and you can double check now in your settings they should be exactly how you want them so if you go to options and then say controls you should be able to scroll down here and uh and see for example i'm on the h shift now so i know that's right i've got my wheel plugged in so a lot of this stuff is disabled but i can see this is pretty much as i want it things like my gameplay settings would be exactly as i normally have them uh so for example parking difficulties on skilled parking uh, so that's obviously been copied over and things like my audio settings, my music volume, radio volume, all that stuff will have been copied over. So now this profile is effectively like a clone of your other one in terms of the layout and the settings. The only difference is uh, this now has the level and, it, and the money that you wanted. And if you look in your progress history, you'll see that it suddenly goes from nothing to, hey, look, I'm level 20. Uh, so you won't have any decent progress history, but that's fine. It's a cheat XP profile, cheat money profile. So yeah, that's what you get. So a final thing to say is you're probably wondering, well, how do I get my own truck now? Because there's nothing here. Where's all this stuff gone? Reason is you don't have your own truck. What you're going to have to do, you, you probably got an email of somebody like DAF or somebody else to say, hey, you need to come to our showroom in Amsterdam. Basically, you need to go to a city and discover uh, one of the truck dealers. You have to drive past it. There's no other way of doing it. So if you have a look at Amsterdam over here, uh, you can see there's a truck dealer there. And we know that's going to be a DAF dealer. Basically, you need to drive over to a city and discover the truck dealer, and then you'll be able to purchase a truck for them. You have to visit the showroom to do that. There is no shortcut to that one, unfortunately. So what you're probably better doing is just taking another quick job and maybe look, look for something that goes somewhere near uh, Amsterdam. And if it doesn't, don't, don't worry about it. Just take anything out of here and drive the truck over to the city where you want to go. And uh, you can just, you know, discover the truck dealer, go and visit it and buy yourself a truck and then cancel the job and you'll then have a truck and configure it however you like, and off you go. So that brings us to the end of this video. You should now have a brand new profile with cheated money and cheated XP, and your controls and setup should be exactly how you like them. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments in the video. Don't forget, in the video description is a link to the actual mod pack and a link to my console guide video if you don't know how to teleport around. That's it from me. Take care, guys. Happy trucking.